All right, y'all. T.Y. Baby back here again with my mom. I've been trying to get her to do videos with me, but she said she thinks she's not good at it. So y'all comment below. Let her know that she's good. Tell me what you think. All right. And comment below what videos should we react to. So today we're doing a black man angry at KFC. It's funny. I, I saw a little bit of it. So we're going to get straight into the video. You ready? Ready. You ready? It's gonna be funny. Let's go. Right. It'll be a little loud, so. Alright. What's up, everybody? This is Sigas. I wake up early in the morning, urging some damn chicken. So I decide I'm gonna go to KFC, because that's the only chicken place in my area. <laughs> I walk inside, and everybody stops. People taking orders stop. <laughs> Females with the damn menu stop. They just stop and stare at my ass like I was a National Geographic motherfucker. Oh my gosh. Look at me like I'm a damn lion eating a gazelle. One fat white man with like five carts of mashed potatoes had a big ass spoonful of mashed potatoes and was dripping down onto his mouth <laughs> staring at me like a fat ass John Goodman. The white girl at the counter sexy as hell. The white girl like Paris Hilton before the whole cocaine charge and everything. I go inside KFC, the white girl look at me and say, hello sir. Would you like some of our delicious chicken? No, bitch. I mean, you gonna lick one of your titties. Of course, I want some damn delicious chicken. Why else would I be inside? <laughs> oh, oh, I guess. I don't got time for your games. I want a 10 piece. She's gonna look at me and say, okay, sir, that'll be $15. Are you out of your goddamn mind? $15 for some damn chicken? $15. Do you know how much 15 is? That's a one and a five, bitch. Does it oh, look like I got fifteen dollars? I'm wearing the same shirt I wore in every other single angry black man. Does it look like <laughs> I have fifteen dollars just laying around in my booty pipe? So oh, I just ask the bitch, hey, you want me to give your boyfriend a blowjob or something oh. so you can give me the fifteen dollars? <laughs> fifteen dollars? This ain't tickets to a glee club. <laughs> this is an evil class organization. Do you know the walls inside KFC was built by the skulls of all African slaves? They got skull wallpaper inside of KFCs. And if you what? don't believe me, knock on one of the walls and then put your ear to it. You will hear an African tribe singing the new Justin Bieber song. He's <laughs> crazy. Oh my God. And he right by I can't see. Dude hates black people. Want to know why? Because he did not make the recipe for KFC. He have you all tricked. He would have you all believe that he was the one that was slaving over that hot ass stove. No, he wasn't. That motherfucker had slaves. It was nine <laughs> niggas inside of there cooking that damn chicken. And every time they got the recipe wrong, he'll bust them inside of the face with a hammer. Oh my After gosh. he had the slaves to make the good ass chicken, he invited a whole bunch of his white friends over so they could beat the shit out of the slaves that just cooked the chicken. Uh -huh. While they was beating the shit out of Kim Buju, they decided to take a bite out of the chicken. The rest is history. Oh, and everyone yes. always wondering why they got the buckets for KFC chicken. Why is it inside of buckets? I'll tell you why. It goes back to the slavery days. Yeah, it did. After the slaves cooked the chicken, Colonel Sanders had the heads cut off and put inside of a bucket. Oh, that's... You know what KFC stands for? <laughs> Killing fucking coons. As soon as I walked in there, guys, y'all think I'm lying. As soon as I walked inside of there, there was a big ass kitchen with grease in it. And the dude was about to put the chicken inside of the grease. He just threw a piece of chicken over the damn counter. And because I'm a nigga, I caught the chicken in my mouth. Oh, nice. Look at him and all his <laughs> niggas. Look at him. Smiling at you because you eat his chicken laced with the blood of Africans across the country. So I smell the chicken cooking. You, you see how they playing with me? Oh, let's heat up the chicken a lot in this microwave so that big fat black bastard outside can smell the chicken and walk inside and pay the $15. Mm -hmm. well, bitch. The mashed potatoes taste like they got athlete's foot inside oh of it or something. Gosh. They got the nastiest mashed potatoes. That's nasty. Like the dude just got his ball and dipped it inside of the damn mashed potatoes. The rice, man. Nasty. And tastes like they had it inside of an Asian boy's booty hole for four years. And don't ask me how so I, don't eat I it. know what an Asian boy's <laughs> booty hole smelled like. I was in jail. It was a traumatic experience. KFC some nasty ass bastards. You know what I saw one KFC worker do today? This dude ordered some chicken and got an attitude with him. So he got his finger stuffed it in his ass and then dipped his hand in the gravy. Oh, God. This ain't disgusting. no joke. Did you know KFC's gravy is not really gravy? It's Indian's blood? You oh, must not gosh. know who I am. Nice. <laughs> I'm the angry black man, bitch. Now, fuck Ridiculous. Fix it, KFC. 
<laughs> Fix it. All right. Yeah, that's, that's too much. <laughs> too much. Oh, God. What you thought about that, buddy? It's too much. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> My bitch is bad and bullshit. Bad. Cooking up dope with a oozy. My niggas are savage, ruthless. Hey. We got thudders and hundred rounds too. Cut.